Mark Rogers, TV Talking West Virginia Football. Mountaineer fans would love to get your take on the Clint Trickett situation since Dana Hogerson has announced that Trickett will be the starting quarterback and that there will be no competition in August camp. Trickett, uh, we first saw him hit the scene at Florida State in that uh, loss against Oklahoma in Tallahassee a few years back when he came in in relief of E.J. Manuel, threw a couple touchdown passes, got the Knowles back in the game, then faltered down the stretch. And then Clint Trickett uh, that season played significant time in Tallahassee, seven touchdowns and four interceptions. Still, he transferred with the emergence of Jameis Winston. He knew that he wasn't going to get much playing time at Florida State. So he transfers to West Virginia, did not start the season in 2013. Then really his shining moment was that upset at home against uh, then number 11 Oklahoma State, 24 of 50, 309 yards passing, a touchdown and two interceptions. But overall, Clint Trickett did not have a great season at West Virginia. I'm a bit surprised that Dana Hogerson has gone out and said there's no competition in August camp. Clint Trickett is the guy. I think it speaks more to the lack of competition, the lack of talent uh, from the other quarterbacks, who would be Paul Millard, who went 55% uh, completion percentage, six touchdowns, six interceptions. He started the season in 2013 against William & Mary. Uh, that was his best performance, and that really upped and increased the stats when he completed 76% in the opener against William & Mary's. But Paul Millard, coming into his junior season, uh, again, 55%, six touchdowns, six picks. Trickett, if you're just looking at stats, completed less than 53% of his passes, seven touchdowns, seven picks. That ratio has to get better for West Virginia to improve on two and seven in the Big 12, four and eight overall. Although that one big aberration against Oklahoma State at home when they won that game 30 to 21. You also had Skyler uh, Howard. You had uh, Logan Moore, who's played wide receiver at West Virginia. Uh, at least listed there on the depth chart, played more of it in practice than actually on the field. Those two guys uh, to the wayside as well. So it looked to be a Millard versus Trickett battle. Trickett wins it. And again, would love to hear from West Virginia fans because it sounds very much by default Trickett as the starting quarterback. He did put up some points uh, in the Big 12. Um, 30 against Oklahoma State in the win that we mentioned. 42 against Baylor. 27 against Texas Tech. 40 points for the Mountaineers against Texas. They put up 44 against Iowa State. All these losses, though, uh, except for the Cowboys game. But uh, K-State really put the clamp on uh, Trickett and the West Virginia offense at 12 points in a 35-12 loss. They lose Charles Sims to the NFL, so they don't have their 1,100-yard back this season. They've got three returning wide receivers, their most productive guys on the outside, Mario Alford, who caught 27 passes, five touchdowns, 20-plus yards per catch. Uh, Kevin White, 35 catches, five touchdowns as well, 527 yards. So a nice yards per catch average at almost 15. And a freshman last season in Dikeel Shorts, who caught 45 passes. So they expect much out of him as well. So he's got productivity coming back at wide receiver, not necessarily at running back with Charles Sims gone. Clint Trick at the starting quarterback at West Virginia. Would love to hear what you have to say, West Virginia fans, right here on Mark Rogers TV.